doing? Are you doing a magic show? How much does a family court judge make? I, I don't know, $200,000 a year? For real, though, why are you wearing that? I was in family court where I learned a few things about Judge Fitzpatrick. In the last three years, he has joined a country club, upgraded his car, and taken European vacations with his three kids, who are all in college with no student loans. The math doesn't lie. Fitzpatrick should be in significant debt, but he hasn't filed for bankruptcy or opened any new bank accounts or credit cards. Maybe he comes from money. Son of a Pittsburgh steel worker, I don't think so. But his wife, on the other hand, did inherit a little dough when her mom died, which she used to buy an apartment in Gramercy. I graduated summa cum laude from Berkeley. I don't need a flow chart. I didn't go to Berkeley. I like visual aids. Mm. Who's that? Joanne Green got divorced a few years back and moved into the city where she rents the Fitzpatrick's apartment. Their renter? Now you're just drawing things. This is Roman Cox, Joanne Green's brother. You sure? He looks a lot like that other guy. Roman is a self-made millionaire. He owns properties all over the city, including a majority stake in New Roads Juvenile Detention Center. The sister of the guy who owns New Roads rents Judge Fitzpatrick's apartment? See, if I didn't have a visual aid, I couldn't do all of this. Ah, uh, we need to talk to Joanne Green. What, what are you doing? I have a feeling. We can't break into somebody's apartment. It's not breaking in. If no one lives here. It's a money laundering scheme. Joanne Green isn't paying Fitzpatrick to rent this apartment. She's paying him to send kids to her brother's prison. <sighs> now, FYI, this is breaking in. <laughs>